<coughs> Just had a phone call from our pal Liz on the on the beach in Cleveland. It's a long way. It's a long way. Oh, said, um, I'm on the beach and I've just seen a great big plume of smoke coming from the direction of Blackpool. You might want to, you might want to, um, no. In the car, she said, come on. I said, right, I'm <laughs> off, come on. <laughs> so our friend Will, at, yeah, our friend Will at the Blackpool Bible had managed to capture a picture of a great big, a great big cloud of smoke on the top of the new the big black DWP officers. So we've got here, and it looks like they've actually got it out. Um, and, and they've done a they've done a very good job. But we thought we'd just we thought we'd just bring you and let, let you have a look anyway. So, as the building, I'm hiding underneath the um, the side of the council offices under the after the rain because it's oh it smells. Oh God, that smells, doesn't it? I don't know what they've. Oh, I don't fire, but it's really strong. As you can see, there's a police cordon to stop me from going around the corner. So we'll uh, we'll just take a little portal down this way, shall we, and see see what we can see. Goodness, it is strong. It's quite a few. Um, fire engines and whatnot. There's a, a long hose there across the road. Um, so, I don't, I mean, there's not, I want to thought that there's much, I want to thought that there's much inside that building to actually set on fire because, as you can see, they're still building it. Oh, I think I'm going to have to put my hood up. I don't think it's ever going to stop raining. I think it's going to carry on for forever, amen. Oh, firefighters in that little lifty thing, look. Just gone up. They're in that little, they're in that little lifty thing, that little so orange lift. I've just lift. asked, they've got it under control. All they're doing is just making sure it doesn't really die. And do we know what it was? I didn't ask that. Oh, that looks like all the patients have been kicked out at dentists. Look, these are obviously dental nurses. I've just heard somebody saying, if you want to rebook, rebook. Good morning from Manchester. That's the firemen just going off the landing. I don't know if they've evacuated some people. We've got some people with masks over there. They're, I think they're at a dentist. This is the dentist, this one. The, well, the old hot. So from. they've brought them out of there because they don't want them going both when they're having a the filling done, do they? But the, the picture that Will had posted on the Blackpool Bible was actually quite a big plume of smoke, wasn't it? It was. And it must have been a lot of smoke if Liz could see it from Cleveland's Beach. Connecting the water. Got a cordon on the cordon on the road. Thank you ever so much for that, Andy. Really appreciate that. Still some water going in. Yep, that's the water going in. At least they've not got the fittings in the building to end up wrecking all the work that they've just done. Because my first thought were that's going to that's going to ruin the schedule. This glass is impressive, isn't it? I've not seen this on this end. So just to orientate you, that's Talbot Road Car Park. That's the new Holiday Inn, which is just under construction. And Sainsbury's, the big Sainsbury's, is that way, just round there. Go on. What have you found out? They don't know. They don't know what? What to caught fire. All oh, right. They don't know what caught fire. Our intrepid explorer has been and uh, asked the question. I'm from Bradford, doing Blackpool in September, says Clifford. Well, we've, we've ordered the sunshine for September. It, at the minute, we seem to be doing a day on and a day off. Yesterday was lovely. It was um, quite, quite dry and quite still. And then, of course, today, drum roll and fanfare, it's raining again. So we reckon today should be another dry day. Hi Julie. Just interested to see where you're watching from. Just pop a comment underneath and say where you're from. Wolverhampton. 
Alexander. Um, it's always interesting to see where people watch from. That's the little lift look going up, up to the top. I feel like a BBC reporter talking about nothing. <laughs> Stephen's from Blackpool, Warwick. Michael's coming to Blackpool in September. See, it's days like this when you're really glad that you live in Britain and we've got emergency services that can sort things like this out. And you're not in some underdeveloped third world country. Oh, we've got Biker Dave from Manchester, Thameside. We've got Workington, Staleybridge, Gloucester. We're truly international, aren't we? Bridlington, that's close to Newcastle, that. Chrissy says he's in Sunny Blackpool, you're fibbing, Chris. Dewsbury, North Wales, Drylesden. Wow. This is going to be a big um, air in Scotland, Halifax. This is going to be a big Department for Work and Pensions office block, which is going to occupy something like, I don't know, 3,000 staff or something. And it's going to be a centre for processing disability payments. Ooh, so it's, it's well, well under progress for being opened in 2025, I believe. Oh, thank you, Stephen. Thank you, thank you ever so much for that super chat. I think it's a super chat. I can never tell the difference between a super chat and a super sticker. We need some more sun. Is from Norfolk, Shipley. We've got all, all the world staying at Martin Mere from the 7th to the 21st. It's going to be nice in April. I've put an order in for sunshine. Don't look like there's much else happening, does it? What a shame. What a shame we weren't here just a little minute or two earlier. Where's he gone? I've lost him. I bet he's talking to somebody. Oh, he's not, he's here. Talk T boy, T boy in training. I wondered where you'd gone. <laughs> I wondered where you'd gone. We've got Glasgow, we've got everybody all over the country watching this. Oh, yeah. We have. We've got people in Glasgow and we've got people in all kinds of places. Oxfordshire. He's got guilt written all over him. Look at him, he's got an angle grinder. Sheila says um, she loves our channel. Does she? She does. She does. We've got Jason in Leicester. Do you think if, well, he's going across to ask, I might go across to ask the fireman and see what, uh, what's on fire. Oh, what's happening? Um, something's been on fire. A friend of ours was on Cleveland's beach and she rang me and said, Jane, I'm on the beach and there's a great big plume of smoke coming from the direction of Blackpool. You might want to go and have a look. Not that everybody knows me. Um, Lovely Legs says, I hope it's not too serious. Well, I think it's out, actually, to be honest. Um, you can just see people up there, look, in the, in the lift. And it looks like they're checking to make sure that they've got everything extinguished. So judging by the smell and the fact that it's the building site and it's still currently being built, we reckon it smells as if it might have been something rubbery, don't we? Don't we, Kevin? Yes, Jane. No, nope. Oh. <laughs> well done. A pal of mine has just messaged me Did and you say said. What it was? Fire. Don't mean what for fire. A pal of mine has just messaged me and said, "Are you sure it's not red, orange plastic?" <laughs> No, it was definitely, it was definitely grey smoke. I definitely saw grey smoke. <laughs> Kevin's busy. Kevin's busy colouring everybody and trying to find out what's caused the fire. But it smelled like, you know, when you smell tyres and rubbery stuff burning, it smelled like that. As we came on Dixon Road, it smelled really, it smelled really strong. It's not very warm, I might tell you. Yeah, just another day in Blackpool. Well, it's obviously not arson, is it? Because it's a brand new building that's being constructed. 
minutes. The only thing that they'll be saying is, drat, that's, that's going to hold our schedule up while ever we put it wrong, put, put the damage right, not wrong. <laughs> Go on. A boiler, gas boiler that blew up. A gas boiler? Everybody's safe and everybody's out of the building. Oh. It was a gas boiler. Kevin Kevin has been um, asking asking the workmen. Um, and apparently it was a gas boiler that blew up and everybody is safe and out of the building. Which accounts for the funny smell. Does it yeah, not? Apparently, it's um, mostly on the other side of the building. Oh, what a shame. And we're around here. Um, it accounts for the funny smell, and it also accounts for the big plume of smoke that rapidly disappeared. Yes. Because it's obviously gone boof and then You've subsided. Got a fire investigator, Absolutely. I think I, could, I think I could get a job with the investigation unit. And I can conclusively say that the orange netting is not flapping. <laughs> no, but I bet they are. <laughs> <laughs> like when everybody thought Blackpool, Blackpool Tower was on fire a few months ago. And it turned out to be a piece of orange netting. <laughs> uh, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, so they've said nobody, nobody can go down here. Um, so we're we're stuck in on this corner. I think if we tried to go round the other side waving a camera, I think that I think they'd wag the fingers at us, wouldn't they, and say, say naughty, 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 naughty visit Falco, naughty visit Falco, naughty Mrs Rabbit. Yes, it looks as if it's under control. Everybody's out of the building, so there's no there's no immediate risk. Bruit Two is not coming back in the near future. Sorry. Michael's wanting to know. But we'll be doing a lot more live streams. Live. I'm sorry I couldn't pre-warn you that we were doing a live stream, but obviously they didn't let me know that they were going to explode the gas boiler. They didn't. Which is a bit shabby really, isn't it? What's on fire left on the ocean wave? Um, apparently a gas boiler has exploded, which accounts for the smell that was rather like Tyres, I would have said, would you? It was sort of a rubbery, tyre-y... That, kind of, that kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, petrochemical type of smell. So Accompanied... The I mean, these guys are going to roof, aren't they? Yeah, they're going to roof. So, um, apparently there was a big plume of smoke that could be seen from Cleveland, and Blackpool Bible posted... were first to post a picture on Facebook with... Um, a great big plume of smoke, which I think was probably over that side of the building, which would make sense that they would be accessing it from this side where it's safer, away from the fire if it's over there, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, he thinks he's on crime watch. We've got a rogues gallery. Gas is dangerous, exactly. Oh, I'll tell you something, this is, I'm doing this on my phone, obviously, because it's live broadcast. And I've got it connected to the internet, surprise, surprise. And this is a lot heavier than that new DJI. Is it? A lot heavier. Do you want me to hold it? No. <laughs> if you start trying to film, you'll end wobble, up wobble. photographing Mr. Bazrise. Oh, I hear sirens. I hear sirens. Is that someone else coming? Kevin's chatting the dentist lady up now. I talk to anybody. Claire's in Maryport. 
I think this white car here passed us on the prom. It got a blue, a blue siren in the back, and Kevin says that's what you want. You want a siren. Oh, I've not got time to go to Chrissy Gates. I've got to be to meet him at quarter to one. <laughs> what time is it now? Is it about? In fact, let me just have a look at me. Look, let me have a look at my clock. It's half past eleven. So I've got to get back to Sunny Clavelli's, have something to eat, and then I've got a meeting at quarter to one, so I haven't. Do you want me to tell you time. about the dentist? Yes, go on then. Tell us right. about the dentist. Apparently they've. Um, which is this building here? This yeah. is um, King Street Dental Surgery. So they've basically evacuated everybody from the dentist. So anybody that is um, that has got an appointment, obviously, they, they may not be in for the rest of um, today. So, they're going to be very cold if they stood out here all day. Yeah, so if they want to give them a ring later today or tomorrow, um, they'll make, they'll have to make um, alternative, other, arrangements. alternative arrangements. Right. So if you've got raging toothache, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to hang on. Or go somewhere else. Yeah, so this is the old hot pub um as well so they they kept the building and the facade and the front of it and they took all the back of it and completely rebuilt it from the back which looks rather rather posh i think and it's a lovely building it would have been an awful shame to to demolish it there's always something happening in blackpool there's always something happening as stephen cheatley will say it's all kicking off it's all kicking off it's all kicking off i bet you're frozen aren't you I had the presence of mind to put my coat on and dim, I, dim weight didn't bother. Well, I thought I was going to be in the car. Did you dim weight? But then I saw all these <laughs> flashing lights and... And your curiosity killed you. I didn't expect to find a parking spot, to be honest. Could you take us for a look at the new bakery on Topping Street opposite Iceland? Well, no, because we can't go down here. Um, oh, now then, I went down there a few weeks ago and I still can't remember what that road's called. Um, so you're talking about just round this corner of, um, of um, Talbot Road Car Park. But I will on a walkabout, I will, try and, I will try and remember. So that's the new Holiday Inn, which opens in, on the 1st of May, I believe. So that's brand new. The new tramway extension is down there. This is Talbot Road Car Park, what used to be the old bus station. And this building that we're, we're kind of shivering and dithering underneath is the Blackpool Council Officers. So this is what was phase one of Bickerstaff of Talbot Gateway. Famous one pound burger is already open. That's looking good news, they've uh, shut the water supply. Yeah, they've turned the water off, so they've obviously done what they need to do. And I think on that note, we need to get back to Rabbit Towers, you know, Mr. Mr. Kevin. Oh, let's just cover the uh, old race. This is a siren, we'll just see what they're doing. I bet they were just finishing their uh, breakfast. And... You see, we're like, we're like an emergency that turns out to be a non-emergency, don't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. When there's nobody hurt, there's yeah. no serious damage, and, and everything's tickety ball. But at it's the just... end of the day, news is news and people want to know, don't they? It's just a bit of um, entertainment for a oh, Wednesday it's morning, shutting isn't it? Shutting shop. <laughs> Do you know, he's, he's as brazen as a boatload of monkeys, my husband. I reckon it shows over. East Park Drive. No, we're a long way from East Park Drive. East Park Drive is where the Stanley Park is. Let's look at him chatting copper up. I think we'll be um, departing shortly. That's two lives you've had this week. We've done well, haven't we? I tried to do a Teams call this meeting, this morning, with some people at our local council, which is based in Poulton, and every five seconds the internet kept freezing on that. So it looks like the fire's out, everybody's okay. I would hope that damage is minimal. This is a building site, so it wasn't occupied by office workers or anything like that. Are we, are we all extinguished? Well, I'm just looking at that pipe down there. That looks as if it's... Uh, inflated. Inflated. Inflated with wet water. 
I think we need to go, don't we, Kevin? Look like it's still doing something down there. I think it's fair to say it's under control. It's under control. It doesn't look like anybody's injured. Um, this is the new Department for Work and Pensions Disability Services office block that's being constructed. So this is for staff who are going to be processing claims and, and whatnot. Um, about 11 o'clock, I think it was, when the call went up, perhaps quarter to 11, when the call went up that there was a big plume of smoke that could be seen from Cleveland's and Blackpool Bible confirmed that there was smoke coming out of the top of this building. So if you look on their Facebook page, you'll see the, the photo. So I'm going to sign off now. I'm off back to Cleveland. It's freezing. It's really cool. I'm hoping that tomorrow's going to be a sunny day. Let's hope that the sun's shining tomorrow. I'm going to back, go back to Cleveland and have my dinner. I will um, we'll love you and leave you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed and hit that bell for notifications. And then next time something happens and there's, there's um, oh, that sounds like an helicopter. And there's a, 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 a bit of excitement in Blackpool. We'll be able to, we'll be able to keep you posted. Just let's see if there's a, I hear a helicopter. Let's see if there's one coming first. I hear a helicopter. I hear a helicopter. Are <laughs> you sure it's not the washing machine? <laughs> you sure it's not the washing machine? Every That's time, every time we've got our washer on and I'm sat upstairs, I think it's the helicopter that I can hear above the house. Because we get a lot of helicopters flying across to the gas rigs in, in the sea from Blackpool Airport. Fire engine started. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not kidding, oh, I will watch this. When he spins, it sounds just like an helicopter. <laughs> oh, you didn't turn anything on with the helicopter. Right, we're, we're, we're going to love you and leave you now. We're over and out, so we'll see you later. Bye. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications, and then you will get the alerts next time we go live. If that's an helicopter, I'm going to skin you. <laughs> We can wait here and get wet if you want. <laughs> we like Zenosi, wasn't it? Yeah, we're waiting, we're waiting for an helicopter to appear out of the out of the sky. Right, I'm off. I'll see you later. Bye for now.